I gotta take that one less. No, <laughs> no, no. I think we're gonna do just fine. And to all my friends and subscribers and followers and high five fans, and this is the moment that I have been waiting for the whole weekend to be at home. But also on a spontaneous idea, I brought some friends with me. You guys can say hello in the chat group to our guests. Let me put them on screen. Welcome, welcome, hello. Thank you, Rich, for joining. Jay, thank you for joining me today, guys. We should have some fun today. Again, this is really casual, really like um, unscripted, uh, almost uncensored, um, and whatever goes. If you have any comments about any of the photos, the show, if you have stories, you don't have to raise your hand. We'll just figure out the chat as we go here. <laughs> so my first question of the chat is, please let me know if it sounds good, if everything looks good, our technicals are as they should be, please let me know in the chat if everything looks good. Uh, I'm never going to look good. So you need to just get passable for me, and then we're all, then we're cool. Well, yeah, uh, Easy HD Tech, my friend Vel is here. Welcome. What's going on? Mirage Bryston. Sounds like two Canadian brands to me. Hello. How you doing? Nice to see you guys. Looking good. Everything looks good. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, gals, persons. Thank you, persons. Don't let me, <laughs> don't cancel me because I'm saying the wrong things over here. Um, welcome, welcome. Hello. We have a backstage. I'm going to add our next friend into the mix. You guys, hello and welcome. Our good friend, Achana. Hey. I can't read it. I got to <laughs> lean in. <laughs> Hi. Mr. Techno Dad himself, who I finally finally got to meet after what four years or more <laughs> oh it's been longer than that yeah yeah <laughs> amazing Ooh. what it's do we nice got here you. yeah it was great to meet you man finally uh rich and jay what's going hey. on fellas yep if you hey. guys uh you guys have not met each other you can do some intros if you want on your own that's cool i mean it's, it's I, nice I saw you, you man <laughs> yeah i i saw you you were you were doing a lot of filming I yeah. know it's 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 rough. Trade shows are rough, man. I don't, uh, you know. Yeah, it's always... I've done it enough times to be okay now, but it still doesn't yeah. get uh, less tiring. That's for sure. Oh, one hundred percent. And then like I've I've gone to the point where I'm not I'm not going around filming everything. Like fuck that shit. I am done <laughs> with that nonsense. Um, and like your your camera setup was huge too. <laughs> Holy crap. I used to do that too, man. I used to bring a wagon with like hood lights and like, I even, uh, I remember one CD, I brought my robots, my, um, Edel, I have like the full Edel Crone, like motorized yeah, yeah, er yeah. everything. Yeah. I used to have that in a backpack, man. I think it was like 80 pounds. Ouch. And it's like, Oh, I'm not 80, doing that again. 80 pounds of camera gear just to capture videos. And people <laughs> have the nerve sometimes to complain in comments about, Hey, did you compare this? Did you do this? This yeah. looks like that. And they just, I find that there's there's so much unknown. I mean, these things make it a lot easier. Oh yeah, yeah. Right, like this is yeah. uh, this is a saving grace for doing basic, you know, point and shoot and gimbal and everything included. Yeah. So it really really made a difference for us uh, and a lot of people these days uh, filming. So our other buddies here, so what's in the in the chat? What's going on? Thank you for joining down there. So. I'm going to basically scroll through stuff and talk about whatever I, I have in photos. And if you guys uh, have some comments or stories or things to say about the show, then we can interject and put them in there. And if we see anybody else join in in the chat, then I will include them as we go. And if anybody has to dip out, that's totally fine. We have a maximum of five, six, maximum of six. So mm -hmm. as we go along, we'll just kind of swap things out. Yeah. I mean, it was, I'll say this, it was my first Expona. So mm -hmm. uh, I thought it was pretty cool. You know, um, I thought it was, there's a lot to see. I yeah. don't think, I don't think, I think you, if you're, if you're planning to attend as a consumer, um, make a plan, make a plan on who you want to see and kind of go through that dude. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys, it was hilarious. Yeah. I, the, 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 yeah there, yeah. That thing, that thing. Look at that. The professional. Yeah. Look, look yeah. Here we go. No, it's, um, I that mean, it's really quality. Tough. 
<laughs> yeah, but it's just really tough because I'm only really operating with, with one light and I'm not taking the light to every room. Um, so, you know. Yeah, the light, the hey, lighting I find. I, I brought two of these. You should try these guys. These Aperture ones, MT Pro. They fit my so carry-on. Basically, like an... if you go back to that photo, I am using that uh, the longer oh, you version are. of that. There's light. a light right here. Oh, it's right there. So that, only, that is uh, the longer version. Yeah, that's yeah, the longer I just, version. I tried to frame it so it wasn't quite. Oh, I see. It, it, it totally doesn't look like that. Yeah. There's anything there. <laughs> look at that. Yeah. One of the tricks I use to try and make it invisible. <laughs> Yeah, if you if you get the smaller one, try that on the other side. That might work. But I mean, it just won't I can get only... wide enough. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, that makes sense. Yeah. There you yeah go. A lot of the give me. I don't. I don't know the Techno Dad channel. So, just tell me what what you're about quickly. Oh, I uh, I review uh, audio video products from speakers, TVs, AV receivers, amplifiers, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, I grew up as uh, I call myself the accidental audiophile because my dad was all into this stuff. <laughs> And when my dad, mom and dad split when I was six, every weekend I was with him in the 80s going to mom and pop shops. And the three brands I knew were Macintosh, Bang & Olufsen, and Nakamichi. And uh, Classics. Right? Yeah. He had a, a Bang & Olufsen set up from the 70s with a Nakamichi uh, Dragon tape deck. And that's what I grew up listening to. And um, <laughs> it wasn't until I was 13. That was like six, seven years old. Until I was 13, then I brought the same like Janet Jackson tape over to my friend's place. and played it on his sony thing and i was like oh <laughs> it gets better what happened <laughs> no no it got worse i'm like what oh. happened <laughs> like oh okay that's when like that's what my dad was always talking about like the, the equipment matters now that, yeah. that's when i understood i was like oh, okay and then uh yeah i'm a huge home theater fan been uh putting home theaters together since the mid 90s uh i'm a producer dj um working in those fields and um i actually just started uh mixing dolby atmos over the last three years cool i right. got to spend a week at skywalker ranch oh nice but just before they started the home-based thx certifications for dealers mm -hmm. they kind of were trying to roll it out and work out the ins and outs of it and i was invited to attend so I got to hang out there for a week with Anthony Grimani and Tom right. Holman, you know, the TH and, uh, and check out all their stuff and then learn what they were doing. So that was a lot of fun. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome. Our other guest here, Rachel from Gashelli labs. What's going on? Oh, hi. The hi. unicorn. <laughs> hello. Hello. What's up? What's up? Hi. Good to see you. This one. Good to see yes. you. Thanks everybody for coming, Rachel. Thanks, thanks for uh, joining in, jumping in on this very random sort of idea <laughs> that I had, and uh, You're I, um, I'm glad that you could make it. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Happy to be here. Awesome, awesome. So we were just we're talking about show stuff, and I'm still going through the scrolling here. I'm going to try to put us all in a visual way. I didn't go through this <laughs> these layouts very well here. I think we can all fit on the side. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's good. Just know and, that if uh, you if you put up a comment, then it covers the people in the bottom. So just yeah. So yeah. let's see. Well, let's put party in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> no party. Uh, I'm. I thought I adjusted that, but it's only it's if if I'm not sharing assets. So if we're like right. this, then, then it's the fine. comments yeah. move us up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm still a rookie at this. Obviously, I didn't <laughs> plan good, that man. far ahead. It's all, it's all good. It just it just takes it just there we go. It just takes practice. There we go. I can use yeah. the boyfriend voice all I want. There you go. <laughs> I knew, trying to get through the rest of the, obviously I played favorites. Uh, <laughs> Borson, Borson, just a little, a little bit. bit. I'm going to point out here, Jay's shot of this speaker from the side angle really showcases how like the lighting and knowing your equipment can really pull out further details. I wasn't quite able to do the same thing, obviously with just the phone, but mm -hmm. when I see it happen, I'm like, that's why all the gear, that's why all the... that extra effort. It just looks so much better. And I don't have it to compare, but <laughs> right. the, this purple. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. That's very that cool. That's beautiful. Mm. Yeah, the S1 oh, those... finishes. I I don't know what yeah. this one's called, but it's not just purple. <laughs> it's not purple. Yeah, it's it's. This is Prince purple. This probably... yes, it, almost like a royal purple or something. Yeah, it really does look like his shade, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I said. I'm not, I wasn't. Yeah, just no, you're around. bang on. Yeah. So I'm just scrolling. If you guys have any topics, I won't interrupt you. Just keep chat amongst yourselves and get. Uh, get all right. A, all right. All right. I got a question for Jay. Have. Jay, best yes. speaker under five thousand dollars. Five thousand and under. Best pair of speakers you saw there. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> oh, was this the um? You can get rid of that picture, Joseph. I know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, well, there's a few more in in scroll here. They're all chronological. Okay, <laughs> you don't yeah. have to throw that up. <laughs> I mean, go yeah, that's, ahead. That's a tough. That's a tough price point, right? So yeah, there's a lot of options. Lot of speakers, uh, but but, but options. at the show, there's always like something that they're always like you know 10k and above. You know, it's just like you know. Audio files in the yeah. wild version three. Oh man, the booty uh, shot. Sorry, it's they're not identifiable, but <clears throat> hey, when you need to see what's going on, you know, you have no idea how many times I get footages of butt cracks <laughs> <laughs> because I'm filming like this, right? And then I'm like filming, and then someone walks right in front of it, crouches yeah. forward to look at something, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's not the shot I want. Yeah. Yeah. So the PS audio I was really impressed with. I'm not uh -huh. about I'm not sure about you guys, but I heard the F R ten yeah. in Montreal with Joseph the two weeks prior when we covered that show. And then we flew over to Chicago and then you know we walked in and this was there. Um and to me it sounded sounded more to my taste, more to my preference than the F R ten. So yeah. Even though it was less expensive, it's a bookshelf. I I thought the 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 bookies the at PS Audio were actually pretty good. Great price, mm -hmm. great price point as well. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm not huge on spending a shit ton of money on speakers. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> no, you're not going to put 400k on the Griffins. Uh, were those things even plugged in? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, they weren't they, plugged they in. They did have a room with uh, Griffin speakers. Yeah. The, okay. The I red ones, one. uh, carbon fiber uh, mesh red ones. Yeah. I have photos of them somewhere, but they're these are all chronological. Um, okay. I didn't get to go look at literally anything. Oh, I know. You were just yeah, stuck neither there. Neither did I. Yeah. I didn't get to see anything at all. So in a way, I'm glad you guys are here so you can see what was around the show vicariously <laughs> through the photos I've taken. <laughs> okay, let's, okay, uh, Rachel, what, uh, what do you look for in a pair of speakers? Um, I'm a bass head, so obviously I can add a sub. That's going to do like a lot. But honestly, the MoFi SourcePoint 10s, which we have previously used that shows, those are probably, I would say, my favorite speakers like that I've ever heard. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. go and they have Jones. a great, yeah, great price point as well. Um, and usually they're on sale, like around show times and stuff like that. Just audio always puts them on sale as well. Uh -huh. um, but you don't even need a sub for them, which is insane. And I think they're 4000 for the pair yep. and they come with the stands. They actually were just uh, dropped. They're now three. Yeah. Okay. These, yeah. And these it comes ones with came the out. These ones came out at five. Right, at three grand US. Yeah. yeah right. It's insane. And they're um, I need beautiful. to readjust myself going from U.S. numbers back to Canadian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like three, three, three thousand U.S. and eight thousand Canadian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're well, beautiful. The budget, we'll find out, won't we? Yeah, exactly. Source point tens. I never, never would have guessed. Never would have guessed. Mm -hmm. um, I like these work. ones. I That's like these where ones. I was working for the show. The yeah. source point eight eight eight. I put it. I got a um, an interview with Andrew up on my channel now. Man, that guy can talk. Oh, oh yeah, there's... you guys had a lot yes, of fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, maybe that's why I sort of recognize you because you did. Did you do the? You did the interview with you Andrew. It's, it started off before. by me saying um, I was going to give it two thumbs up, but I gave it one thumbs up, and he's just like, "Kill this interview." That's a, that's the intro. <laughs> <laughs> Let me shift this up here so I can get these comments. I don't want to be rude. I to Rachel's face. I feel so bad, <laughs> but I don't want to okay. leave our chat out. Um, okay. Violet Night. That's really reminiscent of a Christmas song. That's good. <laughs> Check out Ever Solo Stark Room. Yep, no, those some of the earlier photos. Did anybody else uh, 
I guess nobody I, else really. I don't know, but I, I got to say, whoever did the lighting in this room. Geez. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, unbelievable. I got a couple other photos yeah. here. I'm trying to scroll through these. It, in mine? Cool shot. In, in my room? That's yeah. Crazy. That was the first thing. Isn't that the first thing I said when I got up there? It was That was yes. the day before. I'm like, who did the LEDs over here? This is yes. awesome. Yeah. It takes a lot of time, but I I absolutely love it. But, like, the worst yeah. part is taking it all down because it's, like, I work so, like, hard on, like, des like, the designs of all of it. And then when you, like, rip it all down, it's like, oh, man, you just have pictures at that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. There's yeah. a nice comment. Absolutely. Subscribe to Rachel's new channel. Follow the uh, Michelle Lee channel. Sweet. Thank you. Sweet. Yay. <laughs> hey, where cool. is this? Where is this? Here it is. Where is it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. That's good. I'm so excited to start it. I'm, I'm very excited. Modified yeah, Vanatus. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Jay, what did you think? Uh, I was really tired, so um, not much of a thought to be honest. <laughs> um, I, I I know those speakers, and you know it, it sounded good. I guess. Um, yeah, I was really tired, man. I don't quite recall. What happened that night? <laughs> well, there was an elevator, and then there were some doors. Say Vanatu, these guys. Yeah, I, I was dragged into like a like a after party by by my <laughs> Patreon. Okay. And um, and there were some Vanatu, some good audio talk, but I don't remember much of what you know the specifics. You know, I wasn't sure. in re reviewer mode or anything. Right. I was, like, just enjoying myself. So. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the after parties were plentiful. I was actually supposed to DJ MoFi's after party or cocktail hour. Oh, that yeah, would have been awesome. Hour. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it was uh, John Durda was just like, man, I was in China for like a whole week right before the show. And he's like, I was trying to call you, Chana. And it was going to be like 3 a.m. I'm like, Durda, I was wide awake, bro. Come on. <laughs> forget you're forget you're talking to Techno Dad. I'm, I'm, yeah, techno I'm, dad I'm, I'm wide awake at all hours. Um, Those were did, did you come by the room. What's that? You were said you were supposed to DJ, but did you come by anyway? Yeah, I was there. I was there. Not not what? um not Andrew's room, but their room on the first floor. Yeah, Schomburg B downstairs. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I was there. I was there. I, I DJ. They they. Yeah, it was. It was a little rough. So I did worked on the out setup of that room, and then I went upstairs and did the setup in Andrew's room, Andrew's room? Okay. and then next door was Alan Perkins with our new mm -hmm. turntable. So I stayed up there for the whole show. That's there. that was my domain. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Those uh. Did you that guys Acora. check out this room? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, Acora. this was Acora ridiculous. Acoustic. This is ridiculous. You guys, you guys heard? Isn't the, that gorgeous? Yeah. These speakers I'm, are gorgeous. Yeah, that I'm is an speakers. absolutely beautiful loudspeaker. Um, I should probably just say, for full disclosure, you see Zydel Marketing, which is the name of my company. I even have it tattooed on my arm. Oh. This guy's in it, in it for real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> I'm in it to win it. Uh, but I manage MoFi distribution for all of Canada. Okay, cool. Wow. Just figure I should get that out there so yeah, people yeah, know yeah, that's know. what I do. Yeah, so no more bad talking. Let's let's. No, no, you can't, kidding, please. The, the more bad insults talking. you give me, the better. Oh, yeah. man. Okay, it was this funny. isn't. This this isn't one of those places where you have to worry about being negative or being giving negative reviews because I have an uncensored channel and anything you want to say, just be responsible uh, it, for it, whatever it, you I'll say. tell you this. Cool. It was pretty funny. I was standing there talking about people in the hallway and some other random people were just walking by and I'm like, I have no problem offending as many people as possible. Like, in fact, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> the guys walking by just started laughing. <laughs> it was great. It was great. But that's just me. That's just me. I love this room. I was surprised at the amount of bass coming out of the the not these ones, but the ones up at the front. At the oh yes, the yeah. other the new gray finish that they had outside the room as well. Yeah, like the, the original. Those are like a, one of the original models with a new color. Dude, the amount of bass coming out of those that room was giant. I'm like, where's the subs? They're like, no, it's yeah. just those two. I'm like, nah. So are they lit up inside as well? These Is ones that are. Makes them yeah. glow? Oh yeah, they gosh. have LED panels. Uh, I believe they filled the, the the sides with panels rather than a strip of lights because it would have yeah. been more spotty. And yeah. they have like a, a module on the back. You can't really see it, but right here there's a module that uh, controls the whole thing. So when you purchase these um, and you with hook power. them up at, uh, like at home or wherever, they truly do glow? Yes. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. It will glow this color. Mm -hmm. Uh one of my one of my subs on 
uh, Instagram was talking about if so, if you change the color of the lights, would they change? I said, no, actually, these cabinets are actually amethyst, which is a purple stone. So the lights inside are a white light. So you can't change the color of the lights. Otherwise, you know, it would either blend or conflict with the purple. So right, right. And you want to you, you want the natural color of that stone to shine through. Yeah, that yeah. is beautiful. Those are gorgeous. I don't know, Rachel. I think your LEDs are better. <laughs> well, thank you. Well, but... <laughs> being in that room with the purple would be perfect. I didn't see the room, Rachel, but the pictures were stunning. So well, if that was you. you. What is this? A, is this a cable thank guillotine? You. What is yeah, this? It's a so cable. that's a cable riser from Sanctus Audio. Yeah, that looks fancy. So Sanctus in... Audio is a cable brand out of South Korea. Um, mm -hmm. I, w I flew over to South Korea last year and met them. Uh, very impressive company. They draw their own cables. Their factory is, you know, one of the largest in South Korea. And they had this on display. And I was like, you guys need to take this to the show and show it to people. <laughs> this, is, this is cool. And of course, Joseph took a picture of it because, you know, he has good eyes and catching these kind of things. I'm like, hey, what and, is yeah. that thing? And then, of course, I I'm know always... it's so cool. It, 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 they actually sell this now in North yeah. America. So. But they're, they're, they are quite pricey for a cable riser. Yeah. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I'm always making really fun of cable cool. risers in my comments and stuff. And I'm always, when I walk home from work, if you guys don't follow the Instagram and see me walk home or when I had the night shift, I'd point at the hydro wire towers, which are like 300 feet in the air. And I'm always talking about them being on sale because... They're cable, they're cable risers. Those are the big, yeah. real big cable risers. Yeah. If you scale it up, it's essentially the same thing. I mean, but you're not running 250,000 volts. It's only, what, yeah. 25, 30? Who knows? Yeah. Tissue paper. Yeah. Hard at work. That's what yeah, that is. Those, so this, those I'm actually running. editing this video right now, so this is kind of ironic. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, it's the mon acoustics room. That's Insane. that's the room that the risers were in. That's they have so, like ten different settings for the speaker. It's, yeah, it's yeah. nuts. It's quite quite impressive, actually. Legion, hey, the Legion One Capone says, "Did you guys hear the small Elac speakers? I was pretty impressed for two thousand. Oh, that was kick ass. That I did too. Was kick ass. So 100%. on that photo, the the mon minis, I yeah. I have those. I want to compare the Elacs to these because they're a similar yeah. price point. Um, and the ELAC were really impressive. Really I, I was impressive. blown away, man. You know, anything, anything, uh, ELAC seems to do like even their cheaper, their cheaper stuff. Is just... And this is ELAC, it, it, uh, Germany, it was, right? This is not yeah, Germany. yeah, exactly. So yeah. it has the air motion tweeter and mm -hmm. it, it was such a small package. Yeah. And, but the base was not just punching the mid base, but it, it was extending. So I was like, you guys have to have a subwoofer for in here. It's some, something, you know, but mm -hmm. no, it was just no. those two speakers those and two, it was fantastic. Yeah. That's fantastic. Ridiculous. Yeah. New premium mono blocks from Orchard Audio. New kit, new chassis. Um, yeah, the Elax. I never, I never went in there. I don't know if you guys had heard, but <laughs> they kind of borrowed a photo that I took last time, and I thought either I'm going to take one and give it away for free, or I'm just not going to go in this time. <laughs> so I actually never. I was too busy and never got in there. But I, I heard the speakers in Florida, so I had to time manage. <laughs> True voice of reason says, "Who you say it has a small package?" <laughs> <laughs> my my apologies to the chat. I would yeah. normally put a lot of these up there, but uh, I don't want to cover Rachel's face. It's a little yeah, bit I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, oh, Rachel, what is your channel? Is it Gashelli? Is it or is it you? What is it going? So it's like so it's Rachel Gashelli, and pretty much like my I I kind of like idea with it. I guess is to. Well, one post like informational videos. So because we have like the um, DAX that have like swappable op amps, um, I like post like how to swap the op amps and like add USB to your board, switch out the case if they get a new case and things like that. So obviously I want to like cover like informational stuff on there, but as well as like I would like to post like family content because okay. um, like, I don't know. I think that we're like, we have very, very funny moments, but nothing is ever like, I guess, documented and stuff. Mm, right. And because it truly is like our family, it's just like funny how we operate, I guess. So I would like to try to like incorporate that into some videos as well. Obviously I have to get everyone on board, but um, right. so it would be like a lot of like some of that stuff. And like, I just made a video 
um, talking about like the room design and like taking pretty much like through a tour of our showrooms for people who can't make it to shows um, and stuff like that. So it's kind of just, I don't know what I'm doing yet <laughs> necessarily. I just want to just have fun with it, I guess. Sure. Yeah. That's so, the best way to be. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I think it'd be awesome. fun. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's, I, I, I think like the whole, the whole, you guys being a family and everybody's like involved. That was like the coolest thing, yeah, you know, and just hanging out with you guys talking. I'm like, oh, this, you're like, you're like, yeah, my dad's in there. He makes all the stuff. I was like, what? Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. let me go meet dad. It's really you know? cool to like, one, because it works. Like, oh, I'm sure like there's a lot of like companies that have tried that and possibly like it didn't work. Like everyone has a role and it's honestly crazy how we operate because like everyone's role is so important. So, and everyone knows everyone's yeah. role is so important. So it's, it's really good for like, you know, like one person's not necessarily more important than another because someone's right. like is so, so good in this aspect and like maybe lacks in like something else that somebody else can pick up so it's like super cool how we just like i guess like make it work mm -hmm. and stuff like obviously yeah. it's family we're not yeah. always gonna have like the best days i know at these shows we like are like oh big happy family which we are but <laughs> you know like it's okay because we go home and then the next day like we're, we're still family like yeah yeah and it's really, really nice as well because we don't let it necessarily like if we have like a really bad day at work, it does not affect like none of us live together. Like uh, like me and my brother don't live at home or anything, but um, we'll all go to dinner like that weekend and like nothing will be like ruined, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So it's just very it's very fun. I'm very glad yeah. that it like works I know, out. That's very stuff. cool. That's very cool. <laughs> that's very cool. I love that's it awesome. a lot. Uh, <laughs> I love somebody's my job. Somebody's saying Jay's uh, uh, dragging on the Gashelli review. Uh oh, it's right here. <laughs> yeah, he's got one. Hold on. It's right here. Oh, you have it. Yeah, I have. Oh, you I got the zebra, the didn't one. you? And then it was, and you then you got a mist as well, didn't you? Yes. I yep. think. So okay. I got, no, I got the I got the same deck. This is all option one. That's no option. So okay. the most budget friendly one to the maximum upgraded one okay yeah. so sparkos and then the opa 1656s is that right that's right yeah that's okay right, that's okay right. that's awesome Sweet. how are you liking it that's a secret <laughs> I can't oh, tell you. That's, that's for the review. He can't. Oh he darn it! <laughs> I wanted well, tight a hint. lips. Tight lips. <laughs> I wanted well, a hint. <laughs> maybe maybe when we're out here in the public and we're doing the stream, we're not going to say all the juicy stuff. We need to keep some kind of, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get it. I understand. <laughs> See that's that, that's where I like kind of mess up on our on our weekly podcast. I'm always just like, oh, I'm, I I'm, I have this for a video, but I'm going to tell you guys now because you're like the diehard crew, <laughs> you know. Like whatever. Oh goodness! Whatever. Um, I hey, get that. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, these speakers. Uh, what did you guys think about them? Did oh, I didn't see these them? at all. Okay. What was this? What was this? It's a it's a, a concentric driver facing up, downward firing subwoofer, and it gives you this really like open sound in the room. Um, I it must was be like an omnidirectional design kind yeah, of. Yeah, I mean the. The high frequency, really, you have to be in that narrow band right in the front. And then even then, I found that it was really, really diffuse. Yeah. You, it you it was a, personally. Really, it's yeah, it's personally cool if there was a, a whole bunch of them me. around and they were wireless for like a lounge because then the mm -hmm. sound would be everywhere. But for critical listening or that, you know, if you really want to listen to music, wouldn't be my first pick. Yeah. The really idea is cool, cool, though. Really cool idea. 100%. But not, yeah, not quite, doesn't quite have the clarity <laughs> that I would want. Well, hold on, hold on, go back, go back. Okay, what does the guitar and the saxophone have? Did anybody play those things in there? Those are not those, Yamaha speakers either. Those, so those, those, are, those are just decoration? <laughs> yeah. What is that about? Yeah. They weren't listening to ACDC though. Okay. All right. So not completely useless. <laughs> those are the morales, right? Yes, these yeah. the, the photos coming up. These were not playing. Some people yeah. had, I, I commented on them in in general, and the they're coming out with speakers now. But the the other speakers that were in the room, the two thousand dollar ones, yeah, these ones were 
one of the most surprising sounds mm-hmm. at the show. 100%. I, for price and what they seem to have, there was an it's unbelievable hard. performance. So here's uh, the thing. Yeah. I didn't get to hear these speakers. I really wanted to cover them. The problem was it was so popular because it sounded good. I guess yeah. everyone wanted yeah. to hear them. I mm-hmm. went there on Saturday. It was like lying out the door, so I couldn't get in. Mm. And then I went on Sunday. I'm like, oh, you know, people usually less people on Sundays, right? Still packed. I ended up not being able to go into the room. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Very, yeah. very sad. They were What's... they were actually very good. I was so surprised when you yeah. told me two thousand yeah. dollars. I was like, damn. Um, Fair, are the two thousand a pair? Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. And they're a driver manufacturer, right? I have mm-hmm. great respect for the drivers, and now they're you know coming up with speakers. Two grand. That's this insane to me. Yeah. Did you see? So they have a Bluetooth speaker for three hundred yes. bucks. Okay, and you can link two of them together. So the stereo, those things sounded insanely good too. I was just like, uh, three hundred dollars. He's like, yeah, two forty nine. If you want to buy a couple right now, yeah, yeah. I mean, even without yeah. hearing it, just the finish, you know, just oh, dude, just the finish, the, the, the drivers from Morel, you know, like they're the probably curve, gonna they're the probably gonna blow up if they if they you know go to more shows and stuff. I like, I, like, I totally like the curves them, like yeah. th- those are the things that you don't really see, you know, mm-hmm. like. You know. Often. So it's ported ported mid range and a lower ported chamber for the the woofers. These weren't even playing. And if the two grand ones that are two and a half way towers, these being a three way with bigger drivers, I can't imagine how much more bass and clean these are going to sound. It's a beautiful design. <sighs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Very. Oh, there's some sexy beautiful. speakers, man. Very wonderful. Pretty damn sexy. And I really like how the tweeters at the bottom, like uh, you know, below the mid woofer. Yeah. So are those two different speakers, or is that the front and the back? Oh, this is the front and the back. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they were side so by small, side. So I just, small. I had, I had enough of a sharp up, uh, like top to bottom angle that I cut. You can kind of see the foot here for the set yeah. for the other one. They are and beautiful. Yeah, unbelievable. I mean, for their, you know, like their. I guess it's an anniversary that says 45 year anniversary here. They're doing audio yeah. speakers for that kind of thing to come out. I think that's an amazing push. Yeah. Uh, wow. No complaints. Absolutely. I, I got to go because our live stream starts in like 15 minutes. But gotcha. I'll, I'll say this. Um, RBH had a pair for 1200 That was also very, very surprising. They had like some giant ones for 50 k Oh, they had those ones for like 12 or 17 But the ones next to it. I don't uh, think I captured the other okay. one. Okay. Yeah, the ones right next to that white one. Um, just, this, just very slim black. Oh yeah, they were they were more subdued than that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like twelve hundred a pair. I was like, oh god, it's great. Yeah, it's great. I like to see companies that you know they'll go balls to the wall and do something like forty, fifty k, and then do something for like twelve hundred, fifteen hundred, yeah. two thousand. You know, yeah, you gotta, you know, you can't get. I know that like the big thing in hi fi is getting more young, you know, younger people into it. Mm-hmm. So you know. Obviously, they're they're not going to just start off with like fifteen thousand or whatever, you yeah. know. But but twelve hundred that's something, you know. You know, I you know I started delivering pizzas when I was fucking eighteen. You know, I was yeah. yeah I twelve hundred that was like seven eight months of like yeah. really saving tips and stuff A- after paying for like you know breaks. I was delivering pizza, so breaks and gas and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty minutes or less, right? So I was hauling yeah. ass yeah. everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. You were motivated, yeah. right? Like you had, you right, knew exactly. what it was about and you were motivated and welcomed into what you wanted to chase. And yeah. it seemed like a valuable proposition at that point. It's yeah. following your passion, you know, and you got to respect that. Yeah. yeah. I, I get very happy when I see younger people attending the show. Very, very happy. Yeah. Yeah. Because I Me think too. it's so important. So important. Yeah, it'll give him the motivation that, you know, Chana was talking about. He knew what he wanted and he was doing what was possible to get after it. And that's that's what we need is inspiration. Yeah, yeah. And 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 maybe if we if I, I saw the like Gen Z pricing for tickets at Expo, I'm like, okay, how about we do this? Let's just let's 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 try Free. to like no, 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 not that, not that Jay, not that Jay. Let's 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 try to stop, let's move away from the smooth jazz, please. And is that me? That's probably me. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> yeah, exit yeah. call. I mean, I mean, I love Diana Crawl, but come on, man. Like, uh, yeah, let's, let's right, let's, right. Let's let's modernize yeah. it a little bit. 
All right. I, I better get out of there. That's probably the guy. You, you don't have to move away. What you need to do is have a bit of everything. Mm. Go ahead and yeah, play okay, smooth yeah, jazz. Sure. Yes. Go ahead and play Diana Krall, but yeah. play some EDM. Smooth jazz is calling. Yes. Play some reggae. <laughs> you know, play a bit of everything. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's and like a like, lot of good songs. I was playing Disclosure, the mechanism. Oh, okay, cool. And yeah, I think so. Oh. <laughs> this guy, he, he sitting in his chair, he goes like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those he were says, crazy. Uh, Are you gonna play some real music? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to say, you know, sir, this is a show for everybody, mm. and we play music for everybody, right? So if you can sit through the mechanism, I'll play some Muddy Waters for you next if you want that, or if you prefer Diana Krall. But, and that was the one attitude that I had for the entire show. Oh, mm -hmm. There was not nothing else. It's not bad. Everyone else was super cool. And I was worried at times because if you know Andrew, I, I thought I listened loud. My kids are always <laughs> screaming at me to turn it down. <laughs> Andrew plays at levels that will... Oh, so yeah. your head will blow up. He told, he told me. I was there. I was there. He told me. Um, uh, he's like, oh, we uh, the amplifier turned off. He was playing this dead <laughs> dead mouse track it was way too loud. Three times. Three times. <laughs> so then, because I was, pre he says, hey, Rich, I got to step out. You do the next presentation. I go, no one came to see Rich Seidel. Everybody came to see Andrew Jones. Right. But I think I was there because because the the I, I was there after he got back because you you guys were going back and forth. He's like, what did you do? Did you break it? Because like the internet was all messed up. I was there. I was there. I was there. I, was in the I introduced him to uh, yeah. Ratchets, right? By Hedegaard. Right, Hedegaard, yeah. The next song that he's going to blow something up with. And for the first time at the event, I actually managed to shut the amp down. <laughs> he came over to me because I was so impressed. <laughs> because he loved that level. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Hey, uh, hey, it was great uh, hanging with you guys. Rich, Jay, nice meeting you. Uh, great Rachel, to you too. great to see you again. Good to see you. And uh, <laughs> Chana, hey, man, thank you so much. Hey, no problems, bro. No problems. Uh, hopefully, we get to actually hang out and uh, you know mess around uh, with a lot of week. other cool stuff. Yeah, I yeah. got you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. See you later, everybody. Thank you, man. Bye. Good luck on you. your thing. What are we looking at here? These it's are. A, a con I think I have their business card somewhere. They're an active speaker. Um, Sonus or something. No, no, no. Yeah, Music concierge the audio. Okay. Concierge audio. So it's yeah. a coaxial front facing with internal subwoofers, and it's all powered and wireless. The, so the only there's, there's like six woofers in the back, and it's like one power cable. And these yeah. the wild graphics are actually on the speaker. Yeah, they're panels. Yeah. They're inner. I th I don't know if they're interchangeable, but you can. I mean, so, it was, is that a dragon or a snake? What is that? Yeah, that's a snake. Hold on. Let's go. That's really This is the samurai helmet Jeez. with the snake wrapped around. Oh, now I see and then, it. This is yeah. the most gorgeous. They have, they offer this in like wood in like, you know, gold yeah. leaf. So it's, this is just like the, you know, to show how cool it is. But they yeah. also sell artwork on it. This is where um, I should throw in the web page, but I need yeah, to clean it's, it up. Yeah, it's. I mean, when I first saw it, so what Joseph and I did was before we went to the show, we got the catalog of all the you know exhibitors and the yeah. rooms, right? And we were going through some of them, and you know we don't know everything, so we saw some rooms with brand names that we'd never heard of. So we started googling it, and this room was one of the rooms where we went. We need to check that out. Yeah, like so I did. And uh, so I have a video coverage of that coming out, but it sounded really good. The price point was like ninety something thousand dollars, so not inexpensive at all, okay. um, unfortunately. But definitely one of the coolest, uh, different looking speakers, I should say. Yeah. yeah, they were very impressive though. Very loud, a lot of bass in the room. Very easy to play. Good, good clarity too, and it's fully active, right? So everything you know is built in. Um, streaming and all that's built in, so there's no single, there's no components at all. Yeah, it's just basically the the, the speakers, and you just why you know Bluetooth to the speaker. Amazing, pretty simple system. Wow, those these are beautiful. Were, these were impressive. I don't know a whole lot about this whole system, but they were really deep, really deep sounding. 
yeah, for a well, bookshelf. I, I, when I went in there, it personally didn't speak to me, so I left. Um, I didn't cover this room, but it, the idea, it looked cool, you know. It, right. it just To me, it was, you know, I see a lot of speakers like this, but yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's a, there's... I'm not gonna try to pronounce this. I got, right. I got, I got <laughs> flamed for pronouncing this wrong. <laughs> this company wrong. I even so, if I say Rido, it's still wrong because the the Danes would say it. Yeah, in, but the way in, I said it was like accent, yeah, <laughs> Rido. It's spelled Raid Ho, which is yeah. you know if. I, I said right a hole. So okay, well, uh, <laughs> time and place, my friend. No, that's what I thought it was all this time. Hey, I swear, that's an honest mistake. Okay, but it is quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> Margulis Electronics with the uh, Rido speakers there, Scansonic, their sister company. I think those are Via Blue cables. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. So these surprised me as well. These are stereo integrity home audio towers. And I saw stereo integrity's name on the board and I was like, well, they sell subs. I know they make a lot of stuff for like home theater and subwoofers and stuff, but what do they have for home audio two channel? This should be interesting. And that's what it was. This real, is real wood two, veneered cabinets. Is it a two way? Yep. Oh, interesting. I wish I was able to go see some of this stuff. It is all so beautiful. <laughs> like, like wow. Yeah, that's a literal size subwoofer. of the sub. Yeah, that's a twenty-four inch subwoofer. Play with it. I saw them pull up in like a, a minivan or something, and this was literally hanging out the back. <laughs> we we just stopped for a second and thought, is this someone with their newest car stereo about to show off, yeah. or is this coming into the show? That's hysterical. Yeah. They had it powered by an external amp, like a rack mounted amp. So it's just speak on connections in the back and they're powering it externally. It's got to be, you know, more than 2000 Watts going into it from a rack mounted amp. I don't know what kind of amp it was. I didn't ask, but I got some slow motion video of this doing like 11 Hertz. So <laughs> <laughs> These are the more more impressive designs that they came out with. It's a 10 inch woofer that's like compact. Oh, that's so it's a cool. short coil. It's a flat diaphragm with neo magnets inside the motor structure. So you can actually what I said to them is these would be really, really cool on a slim sort of European style two way well, like tower speaker with two 10 inch woofers on the side for can voice force canceling. Because the magnet structure wouldn't interfere the same way like um, SVS 3000 or KEFs or all those force canceling subwoofer designs. Because these are so shallow, you can get them in a narrow cabinet. And I looked at the guy and I said, uh, definitive who? <laughs> because mm -hmm. they have side firing woofers, but there's only one. So if you had force canceling, it would isolate the uh, vibrations. Is that the design? Like, is that the like... How, like if you when you buy it, is that how it comes? Yeah, that's a, a raw a raw woofer where this one's got like a cone shape. Yeah, and it goes back to the point like they like most do. This one's actually just flat. Wow. So it reduces how deep into the box or cabinet it will be mounted. So for car audio, especially where you don't cabinet have a lot of space well. in the doors, and you got to jam it into certain places to get that air pressure. Mm -hmm. These are perfect for that because there's the magnet is tucked up inside the motor structure. This is so cool. Coolest thing. Like I would love to see a blend of, and what Stereo Integrity is doing is mixing the, some of the ideas and concepts from driver manufacturing for car audio. What's to say they wouldn't work in home audio, just change the coil properties and there you have it. Wow. Always fascinated with the technology. So anytime these engineers like Michael Borston was talking about in the interview and all that, going into the details of how stuff is made, I'm just sitting there going, yay, more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and these that always get a bad rap and be like, why does it look broken? The Purify? Yeah. Purify, uh, Purify Audio does really? this. Really? They have a bad rap for that? Because it's so unusual looking. It, it mm. doesn't... 
it doesn't look like what we were looking at on the on this big driver up here. But I think I that's around. what's interesting. You know, like when I go to shows, I want to see interesting stuff. Yes. You know, I don't want to see the same, you know, Twitter, Woofer, Fox, you know. I want to see something like different like this. Yeah. Well, something I think about unusual. Fine, but yeah. When I see it, I ask, well, how does it work? Not is it broken or it must be broken. It's it's always, it's a curious, how does that work? Yeah. And then once they explain how it works, you're like, oh, okay, that makes total sense. And the, the idea, if anybody's watching who doesn't know and sees this, I'm saying it's not broken. How it works is it's an asymmetrical, asymmetrical um, ridged around. ground. I don't know what it's called. It has a specific acronym. But the idea is that it stays in the same shape, whether it's moving out or moving in, which keeps it even more linear than a proper rolled surround that goes in one direction. So when the cone moves out, it's okay. But when it moves back, it's not controlled the same. So this is an asymmetrical surround to keep it linear in both directions. Gives it what, th plus three or more dB in base and handles better at lower distortion. The numbers speak for themselves. These drivers are some of the best in the world. Joe, you may have a you might you may have the answer for this, but I was always always curious, right? Because mm -hmm. I've uh, I've dealt with vintage speakers and like reforming them. Mm -hmm. um, you know that was one of the things I did, and I'm wondering how would you reform this, or would you ever need to? Is it what kind of material is this around? Do you know? Uh, it is definitely a rubber compound of some kind i don't know if it's the same mm. that uh i don't know how to pronounce it it begins with a b mm. uh butyl butyl rubber yeah. usually oh, it's oh, really, okay. so it's it lasts really forever. Forever. Last, yeah. it basically lasts forever it won't tear or rip um right how they i mean i can't talk about how some companies form them to the cones <laughs> i certainly don't want to go down that road more than once uh what i can see here is that it's the adhesion around the edge of the cone on the front it's an aluminum cone um, there are other ones are paper. So how it is here is around the edge that changes. So that would be your weak point, but some of them are bonded completely like heated or molded or onto the structure itself. So it wouldn't even tear off. Rachel's so, uh, yawning. It's like my <laughs> bedtime. I'm like, looking. I'm like, all right, nine o'clock. I go to bed so early. I go, to, go bed to bed at so nine. Early. Yes responsible yes, <laughs> every, even on living weekends. the good life <laughs> even on living weekends, good life. I finish to bed hair nine. down on sunday yeah <laughs> hair i'm exhausted yeah that, that it's only that i'm i'm I, I can't believe that i actually got anybody to join in because the show was so recent everybody had to do so much work <laughs> recently and here we are doing this but at least we're not moving heavy boxes down here. <laughs> <laughs> the shows like ruin my sleep schedule. So it takes me a couple of days, especially like, even though we're only, we were only like an hour difference. It does like ruin like my, my sleepiness a little bit. Uh -huh. So I'm like, I'm beat. <laughs> I'm ready for bed. <laughs> Absolutely. We, we went into work for a little bit today and I was like, I need to go home. <laughs> I'm so tired. No more. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. That's um the those early days those early days are not not easy to get, you know, get started once you're already tired and you've been through so much and you got to try to get back into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, cuz I wake up around like 5, 6 o'clock in the morning usually. Mm -hmm. So it's I'm, I, these shows I'm like because we're up so late and then I I'm still on that schedule to wake up at like five six o'clock in the morning so yeah. it's just it messes me all up <laughs> yeah I I've I just started doing a day shift and I have to do the same thing I have to be up at 4 30 every day to get out to work so thank goodness I don't work very hard I still do assembly stuff but it's mm -hmm. not like I'm not risking my safety all the time and, you know, just, just aware enough to follow the rules, <laughs> <laughs> you know, all that stuff. Catch I'll be burned out for a couple more days. We finished tear down at midnight. We went oh. out for dinner at 1230 in the morning. Where? There's, there was only one place open. The mill, I think it might have been called Miller House or Miller Ale Oh, House. yes. Oh, that place is so good. So they're open until one. So okay. We finished tear down. We got all the skids set up. 
we said, okay, we need to eat, you know, and everything was closed. Last year we ended up there and that's where we ended up again this year. It's delicious. So, you know, I think I got back to the hotel room around two o'clock in the morning and then got up at about six oh. to take our minivan to the airport and then jump on the plane to come back home. And uh, I'm, I'm a little out of it. <laughs> it is a lot of work. That's part of the message of these shows that a lot of people don't hear is that it takes days of setting up and troubleshooting everything in a weird place with internet issues and power issues and all that kind of stuff, logistics, setting it up and then being ready to meet the public the very next day on next to no sleep. And you got to look at the all that are, you know, about why does it sound, can you play this? Can you, it's like, <laughs> I want people that are listening or have ever, 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 ever see this video, please show some sort of empathy to the people that are responsible for putting the show on. They go through a lot to get it done. At the next show, I want to get a camera and um, set up like a time lapse. Mm -hmm. Um, just to show like it's it's kind of hard because we did have four rooms so it's like what room do you put it in unless you set up four different cameras um but because like the effort and stuff it, it takes a lot it does the setup is hard and then just to get like you know it's like going and sitting down in a specific chair and then like hearing the music and then getting up and being like okay like they need to be moved this like the speakers need to be moved this way or this way or you know and stuff like that it, it it, there's a lot that goes into it definitely mm -hmm. sure definitely is. yeah it's a part that no one else gets to see public never gets to see there's no photos of it there's hardly any videos of it anywhere very rarely you'll see some that's why i want to do the um like a time lapse just just oh. so people can get an idea Hold on this. sorry to cut you off I just no you're okay i sold apogee in the 80s i guess must have been early 80s when i worked in a hi-fi shop is this the company that bought the rights jay do you know or does anyone know the rights to clarisis uh, somebody bought the rights to apogee's ip oh and started oh. building the panel and i think it was these guys i don't know that I could be wrong. Uh, do you know what speaker mm, this is yeah clarisis clarisis, clarisis. that's it Mark, oh, really? Jones, uh, Mark Jones brought it in. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this so, was. Yeah, I gotta find out if they, if these are the guys who bought the rights because this looks almost identical to the Apogee. Yeah, but that asymmetrical sort of leaning in straight yeah. and on yeah. top oh, of I'm the have to look box. These up. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I remember. I was always those. a huge fan of a giant ribbon. Yeah, I remember seeing Apogees in the magazines when I was growing up and first getting into audio and flipping through some of the magazines back in the day when we had magazines to flip through. <laughs> <laughs> it was inspiring at the time because that's the only place I could see this really extravagant stuff. And then, you know, it's kind of weird to be this many, many years later in a completely different side of the industry and seeing this stuff almost, you know, like month after i was in florida i was in montreal i was in you know now at expona so it's three shows back to back and some of the stuff is at every show and when i was young it would be like one magazine a year i'd see something cool and now it's like all the time such an interesting transition and i believe that's the end of my photos oh my goodness and we are at about 53 minutes so I'm going to stop sharing this. It's going to be a bit jarring. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for being here. Um, Thanks for I, I appreciate this last minute sort of idea coming together and having, you know, people in the chat this whole time and, and not having their comments pinned. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. And we're missing so much conversation in here. <laughs> body cam there you go that's i think i might do that next time that's a good idea to get like to i usually wear the strap around my chest so i can carry my camera and my phone and all that stuff and it looks like i'm a security guard but <laughs> i'm not anymore i used to be which is how i can feel comfortable in it but strap there, like a gopro there, no, or the you know, dji camera you got yeah there's a there's a back strap for it okay so you could strap that 
clip on, clip off, clip on, clip off. So okay. it's just straight and then you just walk around. That would be cool because yeah. instead of having to use my hands to capture everything, I could navigate in a different way and have a body cam that captures absolutely everything that's going on. And yeah. then I could do photos if I really want to, but it would still capture the ambience of the space. Mm -hmm. That would be an interesting way to explore a show. I don't know that anybody's done. I mean, my one of my favorite Zeo's reviews always wore a GoPro on his head, but it was always facing down at his desk. So it kind of showed everything like point of like point of view, which, you know, I appreciate what he does. And I'm just wondering if that would make people nauseous to watch, like at a show where you're like whipping your head around, you know. So I'm wondering if I could do it like on my shoulder or you know what I mean? Like a different way. Well, so the DJI is uh, stabilized, right? But yeah, so, gimbal. I'd be afraid least, I would yeah, break it off. That's why I'm it, no, it's a clip on. I'll show it to you after this. Okay. That yeah, makes it's, sense. It's, yeah. <laughs> yes okay <laughs> i know what he means bad 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 some some friends that are in here that are they like to play word games just like i do <laughs> but i'm not i'm not i'm not falling into it this time um so the the only other thing i can think of sharing one thing that i had to was the meal that we had let me find a browser here i can play i'm gonna play it without the sound <laughs> i'm gonna play it without the sound this was this was what thursday night we went for dinner before everything got started and it was absolutely amazing i i i cannot believe that we got this much going on um that night it was awesome oh yeah <laughs> that was as soon as we got off the airport yeah so there's like, like, to walk like over there. right away and it was it was like we were starving we were exhausted we just got through a bunch of different stuff and we're like yeah just order everything <laughs> <laughs> that all looks so delicious where was that at oh i i so what? <laughs> yeah what's the he's name? in the chat yeah Sua, where was that this is yes that too so we Listen. need the name when we need the name of this place please and then i'll pin it while we're still watching this yeah. it was just so tasty for real there was like what did we have there was orange chicken and fried rice mm -hmm. and um the fried rice was different really kinds good. of fried rice chow mein brisket here we go this is what it's called Okay. Yeah, it all looks delicious. Very good. Yeah, it was awesome. So Man. I guess that, that's one of the last things that I can share unless I can sneak another video in here. Um, where's the other video? No, no, no. <laughs> I have so many. I'm so, This is all like on the spot. Okay, I can do that one. Stop. I have to turn that down. <laughs> Yo, so be careful. Don't share. Yeah, I'm going to get the wrong gonna get videos. Right. I'll just mute it. There we go. Um, it's just the Acora room again because I appreciate what they did in there. And um, Oh, yeah. Yeah, Those I can't beautiful. play that song. Well, you guys know what song it is, but. Oh, so when they uh, Val and uh, his his staff actually turned these lights off at some point, so they were like in the dark, glowing purple, and it was unreal. Because in the, in this lighting, you can't tell the bottom. The bottom cabinet's also lit up. The top cabinet's lit up. It shines through the face, but because of the lighting, you can't really see it really uh, glow like that. But uh, clearly, they can handle some music like. I'll, so post, uh, is, I'll have this video on my my uh, my channel afterwards. I just don't want to do it right now. Is there like an on and off switch as well? Or is it if the speaker is on, the lights are on? There is an on and off switch at the back. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So you can either, I think it's either plug in and power and they're on, on, or there's an on, off and you don't have to disconnect power because there's a module at the bottom that connects the speakers as well as the power for the lights. Mm -hmm. But why would you want it off? I... I wouldn't think you would. I was just curious. I was like, just 
I didn't know if it was like, um, like that's what it's set to. Cause I, I wouldn't mm. turn them off. I would. <laughs> Yeah, they're I know. Gorgeous. Right? They're beautiful. I, if, I wish yeah. we can dim it instead of turning it off, you know, like at nighttime. Yeah. Just guess. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's my best angle at getting the woofer. Yeah, of course, I went around. Woofer. I went around the 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 right side to not in, interfere with the serial staging and get in front of guests. You know, so they put a they sent an email out that said be be respectful to our show guests while you're doing media work. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna. Try not to fall over here. <laughs> so that's the 10 inch woofer that's in the ported chamber at the bottom. So that's like its own subwoofer unit. Wow. That's the best that you can't see anything because it's too dark, but. Yeah, yeah, that is beautiful. I don't mean to run. My phone is on like 1%. So okay. I don't want it to well, just cut out, but. I appreciate you being here. Thank you. Uh, and have a good sleep. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. And it was nice talking to all of you. See you oh, next is that time. your pup? Oh, oh wait. Wow. Let me grab my puppy. Hold on. 1%. The 1%. Her battery is going to run the 1 out. It's going to save us. It's a nice looking chair, though. <laughs> yes, it's worth it. Oh. <laughs> this, oh this is maple. Oh, no, no. Look there. Look there. Look, look, look it, you have a new puppy look. friend. I would bring my dog, but he's not going to fit in. Aww. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a great night. <laughs> yes, thank you for joining today. It's been amazing. Thank, thank you. you very much. Bye. Have a good night. You as well. <laughs> yeah, so is, is there is there anything else on your minds, or is it late enough we can call it? It's just over an hour now. It's up to you, man. It's your show. <laughs> well, it is my show, but I could probably talk for four hours straight like I did on New Year's. No problem. <laughs> but uh, having having said that, maybe I should just call it quits <laughs> before <laughs> I lose yeah. my time completely. Thank you guys so much for joining. I I really do appreciate it. It's been it's been fun and different and i like this different <laughs> yeah going over the show photos talking you know i think this was great anytime you want to talk about music and or audio i'm in all right perfect i appreciate that and i am always down to do so so we'll maybe make it semi-regular huh <laughs> it'd be fun we'll work out a schedule something that works for everyone that would be awesome and so normally i'm a total blabber both <laughs> and I stayed cool. <laughs> no, I, this was great. I appreciate it. Jay, your time as well. Thank you for joining in and checking no this out and something new for you on video. You know, I know that, but uh, mm -hmm. you did good. <laughs> your system still looks good as it is. <laughs> I just pointed to a random corner, man. <laughs> yeah, it just shows how much stuff this man has. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. My vacuum. <laughs> hey. Like my like my strange Instagram for, uh, the reels have been going lately, including all kinds of weird things. The vacuum still makes sound. That still falls under audiophilia because it's love of sound. How does it sound? <laughs> How Loud. Does it sound? Loud. <laughs> well, thank my audience too. You guys are awesome for hanging out all night. I appreciate it. True Voice of Reason, Suat, Val, thank you all for being here. Uh, I am going to end the stream. My guests can hang out for two minutes longer if you feel like it. And I will sure. see everybody in my next videos, either Facebook or Instagram or YouTube. I never really know until I press record. So <laughs> I'll see you in one of those three channels sometime really soon. And that'll be it. Thank you, Jay Rich. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye to the audience. Have a great night. Bye-bye.